Hey guys, welcome back to another Semu Wii U emulator tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use your mouse to play any game on this emulator instead of just using the arrow keys. Alright, guys, hope you enjoy the video. So, the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is download the Semu with mouse folder from the first link in the description. Now, this is going to assume that you have Semu installed and your games installed and everything that you want to play. And if you don't, you can go check out my tutorial in the card in the top right or the second link in the description on how you can play Breath of the Wild on Semu, but also it has a little section on how to set up Semu and get any game that you want. But anyway, first thing that you're going to want to do is come down to this VJoy folder and run the setup.exe. Install it like you would a normal application, I'm not going to be going through that. But then, once you've done that, you're going to want to go into your little search bar thing and type configure VJoy, and it should come up right away. Click on it, and it's going to be a black screen for you, but it's going to say like, do you want to allow the app to make changes? And then you're going to want to press yes, and it will pop up a box right here. And this box, you're going to want to make sure that all your settings are the same as mine. So, POV hat switch continuous, one, all of these things are going to be checked, and number of buttons set to 25. Then press apply and close. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to come into this mouse to joystick folder and open up mouse to joystick custom semu.exe. Once that's open, you should see a little icon down here or inside this little up arrow. And here it is right there. And that pretty much means that you're ready to go. But not exactly yet. You're going to want to open up this bit, right click on it, go to settings. And here is a bunch of different things. So the executable name, you're going to want to match it to the one that you have where you installed Semu. So I installed it on DApp Semu. And you can see here, semu.exe, just right click, hit rename, select the entire thing, copy it, and paste it in this box. So if it's named anything other than semu.exe, then you're going to want to change that. Auto activate, click on yes, and just copy all the settings that I have here. Under setup, the sensitivity, as it says, lower values correspond to higher sensitivity, and this makes it more sensitive. Pretty much, just keep this. The mouse check frequency, if you set it higher, it's going to be more accurate, but also a lot laggier. So just keep the settings like this. You can alter the sensitivity based on what you need, but most games have sensitivity in them anyway. Now under hotkeys, toggle controller on and off. That's going to be the key that you want to use to actually turn it on and off, because when you're playing your game, you're going to press that key and it's going to focus you into the game, but if you want to take your mouse out and do other things, you're going to have to press that key again and then do that. I just keep it at the default of F1, but it doesn't really matter. Under axes, you can customize this however you want if you like inverting things. Again, most games, if it's going to be useful, they'll have that in the settings. But then under keys, you can actually customize the keys that it'll actually take to do different things. So you press key list helper. And this is basically what you would get in Semu when you're actually trying to customize what button does what. Except you can't customize it in Semu, you have to actually customize it here. So just this these are my settings, but the default is different than this, and you're gonna want to customize it anyway, pretty much. So just customize that. And then come down to keys and just change this as you want. So walking speed, leave it on 50% and gyro control, no, and WASD most likely is what you're going to be wanting to do to move around. Under extra settings, um, if you're playing Breath of the Wild, you'll probably want to turn this on. That means that when you scroll your scroll wheel, it'll basically activate all the keybinds to actually change your weapon. So you can use the scroll wheel to do that. Use ZL lock toggle key. That means when you press that key, if you set it to yes, and then the ZL lock key, Whenever you press that key, it's basically going to hold ZL until you press that key again. Hide cursor, you want that on because otherwise your cursor is going to be like flashing around in the middle of the screen. It's going to be really bad. And alternate mouse movement detection, keep that off. And just press OK when you're done. And 
you're nearly ready to go. You're just going to want to come back to your semi with mouse folder, go to controller profiles, and copy this. Then you're going to want to go to D, Apps, Semu, or wherever you installed Semu again, and come into the controller profiles. In here, I already have a bunch of different ones, and I have Video Advice Gamepad, but just paste that in and replace. There we go. All we have to do is a little bit of setup in Semu itself. So we can close this folder, open up Semu, and here we are. We can go to Options, Input Settings, and this is where we can actually customize it. So we're going to want to select the profile called VJoy Device Gamepad, the one that we just added to the controller profiles folder, and press on load. Now it should come up here as like buttons and things, but if it doesn't, just make sure you set this to Wii U Gamepad, controller API, direct input, controller, VJoy Device, which should be just a new controller after you've installed VJoy, and then press load. All these buttons will come up, and you'll be ready to go. Once you're in your game, then you can just press F1 and your cursor should disappear. Now just because of the way that I'm recording it right now, my cursor still, still shows up, but on the screen that I'm looking at, I have no cursor. And then, here it, here we are in the main menu, and remember ZL and ZR, just the keybinds that you came up with. And here we are. I'm actually using my mouse to look around, and obviously you can't tell it, but I am. And I can use left click, and I can use right click, and I can use all of my mouse buttons that I normally couldn't use. Now obviously, if you're going to want to be doing the different things that you can do normally by clicking, like the touch screen, just press F1 and your cursor will pop back out, and you can tap on it, do whatever. Also, you can right click and stuff to do motion controls, but if you press F1, your cursor will disappear again, and you can play. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video, hope it helped you guys out, and I will see you next time. Bye!